I would sit here and she would sit here and we would just talk. And she really wanted to come up with her own makeup line. She talked about going to the Paul Mitchell School then afterwards. Her dream was to go to New York City. This is Corinna's senior picture. She looks very beautiful. And this is Corinna's room. I just want to say that when Corinna first went missing, I wouldn't go in here. It's sad for me. She was artistic. She drew a lot of pictures. This is a diary, my book of secrets. She loved like her necklaces, typical girl, her purses. She loved chokers, like she was just a diva. This is the shirt we had made. This is one of my favorite pictures of her. This was her picture she posted on September 8th of 2017. And she hasn't been on social media since she vanished. 99% of victims are never rescued. When I saw this sign, this just brought tears to my eyes. I'm very lonely and sad without her and I, I just want her home. Well, that's very difficult to see, right? And there were red flags as oh, you yeah. look back, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Lots of red flags that I didn't. When you know, when you're living that and you work every day and everything, I just, all I was like, what's happening to my daughter? Like, she's just changing. And you said she was friends with people online and people that you didn't know. Well, she had over 1,000 to 1,500 Facebook friends. I mean, obviously, she doesn't know these people. They see that she's attractive, and, you know, guys, these pimps scope out these girls. And then lure them yeah. from the virtual world into the real exactly. world. So that's, I think, what happened to her. I hear parents all the time ask me, well, is it an intrusion of privacy mm -hmm. if I'm checking up on my child, my teenager, on the internet, on their Snapchat accounts, and in their Twitter, or on their Facebook. And the fact is, I think it's your duty to do that because they may not recognize when they're being groomed, but a parent that's objective can come in from the side and look and recognize that they're being groomed, and they can do something about it. What's the main message you want to deliver in being here today? Why did you want to be here? What did you want to say? Um, I wanted to be here just to for one, I want more media coverage for my daughter to find her and just to monitor your, ki monitor your children's, get their passwords, monitor everything that they um, do. Don't trust what they say because they lie. A former cheerleader. May be the victim of human sex trafficking. Missing for over a year. These pimps, maybe they conned her and then started to control her. The latest clues. The man was arrested in connection with Corinna. I need to know whether she's alive. Plus, a heartbreaking update on another missing girl. Their worst fears were...